The United Nations University Institute for the Advanced Study of Sustainability, or UNUIAS, brings together 179 multi-sectoral and interdisciplinary regional centers of expertise on Education for Sustainable Development, RCEs, in one network to take bold, transformative action at the grassroots level. Between 2015 and 2019, during the Global Action Programme on Education for Sustainable Development, RCEs facilitated a variety of initiatives towards achieving the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs. Of these, the 137 RCE projects implemented across 32 countries used SDG 4 as a key enabler with a special focus on climate action. Besides SDG 4, the projects also addressed the following SDGs. In particular, 57% of these projects addressed SDG 15. One such project by RCE Grand Rapids worked to assess landslide risks in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, a mountainous area prone to disasters with landslides being the number one cause for disasters. Our approach to mitigating this was to build a risk assessment model using geographic information systems, satellite imagery, and records of known uh, landslide locations to develop areas or to interpret areas that would be at high risk. Uh, and so those citizens in the areas could be warned. Um, the impact um, was significant. Our students at Grand Valley State University in Michigan uh, presented their work at a conference and uh, they, they won a, an award for their work. Uh, so it was a great partnership between uh, you know, the research community and the academic community at uh, Grand Valley State University in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and our local partners in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. 44% of RCE climate action projects addressed SDG 12. In Colombia, RCE Bogota worked to educate consumers on the impact of their consumption patterns on the environment and educate them on adopting sustainable lifestyles. Our strategy consisted of different approaches. We have developed a social media campaign in which we not only publish information related to the environmental impacts of consumption patterns and its relation with climate change, but also the actions that people can develop to mitigate them. We have reached more than 3,000 people in our workshops and events, trained 60 young leaders on sustainable lifestyles, made alliances with more than 50 sustainable local businesses, and have more than 26,000 followers on our social networks. 42% of RCE Climate Action Projects addressed SDG 3. RCE Belarus worked directly with citizens impacted by negative effects of climate change, educating and empowering them and providing them with effective hands-on tools to drive better decision-making. Today, more than 55% of the world population lives in urban areas. Their health and recreation possibilities are endangered by climate change efforts. The crowd mapping tool designed with the Terrifica project allows city residents to put on the interactive map marks for both the negative climate impacts and climate friendly zones in the city. Based on crowd mapping activities and best practices from the Terrifica project, the local action groups, with support from RCE Belarus experts, organized various events to raise awareness about adaptation and mitigation measures in the local communities. To implement the Climate Action Projects, RCEs partnered with various institutions at local, national and global levels. RCE Climate Action Projects took place in a wide variety of educational settings, targeting a spectrum of audiences. Higher education institutions also played a leading role in climate action strategies, driving 53% of RCE's Climate Action Projects. RCE Denmark collaborated with educational institutions and civil society to change the traditional methods of building by changing the way craftspeople are educated. We collected all the knowledge that we could uh, get around, about how to make an example of how to build sustainable and we actually found a really good example that works here in our region. Uh, Northern Europe, 
it would also be able to work in North America and it would also be able to work in the region of Indonesia uh, because the, this is regions where they have a strong tradition of uh, sustainable forestry concerning the building industry. Not only is the next generation of carpenters being trained in sustainable building methods, but gradually small and large companies are changing the way they do things. The RCE Climate Action Projects covered a number of critical themes. 47% of RCE Climate Action Projects focused on curriculum development, so educators could take the project and adapt it to their own classes. RCE Okayama, in collaboration with a local science museum, used virtual reality to promote understanding of global warming among young people. By the experience of our activities using virtual reality, children realize that the problem of global warming can be solved by using IT. Some children change their attitude. Now they try to be practitioners, not just listeners or learners. They join the research activities and study more. RCE North Rift's initiative focused on agricultural best practices and explored solid waste management for food security, energy and climate change mitigation. The community was trained on waste recycling and made aware of the benefits of using recycled products. The impact after awareness creation to the society in my region was clean environment, green energy, those are the briquettes, and organic fertilizer, small-scale farmers whereby the farmer get a high crop yield from their crops. Together, educational institutions, local authorities, NGOs, businesses and other local actors spurred innovation and transformative action through the global RCE network. RCEs continue to learn from each other, generate momentum at the local level and drive concrete actions which can be brought to scale globally. Together, RCEs are committed to driving collective action to combat climate change and build a better world.